Hello everyone, my name is Merz Plazic and today I'll be talking about interferon. I'll be talking about what interferon is, the importance of it, how it's produced mass scale and the problems of mass production. Interferon is a glycoprotein released by cells when they are infected by a virus. It warns the neighbouring cells of the viral infection. The neighbouring cells then begin to activate the genes that interfere with viral replication. They also assist with immunity by helping the T cells and natural killer cells to destroy the virus. There are three main types of interferon, alpha, beta and gamma. Interferon has very various uses. It's currently being used to treat multiple sclerosis. The interferon can also treat cancers, viruses and diseases such as hepatitis. The side effects of interferon are generally flu-like symptoms such as fatigue, muscle weakness and increase in body temperature. Interferon was first produced in mass scale in the 1980s by inser inserting the human gene for interferon into E. coli strain of bacteria. This was done by artificial genetic recombination. This is achieved by cutting a circular ring of DNA called a plasmid using restriction enzymes and then introducing the interferon gene and attaching the interferon gene to the plasmid using another set of enzymes called DNA ligase. The plasmids are then absorbed into the bacteria and expressed. Cultures of this interferon producing E. coli are made and interferon is synthesized in mass. However, interferon produced this way is not glycosylated. Glycosylated is where a sugar is attached to a protein to make a glycoprotein. This results in stability problems for the molecule as it is being purified. The interferon produced this way is called interferon beta 1b. Another form of interferon, interferon beta-1a, is produced by animal cells, which do not have the same stability problem, as it is synthesized with a sugar attached. However, the problem with this is that it is hard to purify the protein from animal cells, as it might have viruses or pathogens present. The method for producing interferon from animal cells is by inserting the gene into the cells through a modified virus and then growing a culture of those cells which then produce interferon. There are currently four companies that produce interferon in this way. Those are Biogen IDEC, Merck Serono, Pfizer and Synergen. Interferon has also been produced by plant cells by the use of an Argobacterium, a bacterium that can transfer DNA to plants. A single plant cell has its DNA changed and then a whole plant organism is grown from that one cell. This is a very time consuming process and there is difficulty in generating a significant amount of protein due to little gene expression and stability problems for the protein. Once the interferon is made, it is generally separated by the use of surfactants to separate the interferon from the rest of the organic phase. Inter the interferon is then further purified by centrifuge and chromatography. Interferon has recently been seen to cause the disabilities in relapsing and remitting multiple sclerosis patients, which points out the major problem for interferon and novel drugs like interferon, that the long-term effects are simply not known and pose serious health risks. In conclusion, interferon can be made from bacteria cells, animal cells and plant cells. Bacteria-produced interferon has stability problems, animal cell interferon is difficult to purify, and is at risk of containing pathogens and viruses, and plant cell interferon produces small amounts of interferon. And interferon as a drug is still quite new, and the long-term effects are still largely unknown and could still be potentially unsafe.